Silver Prop here, and this is Betty the Beast by 05 Tahoe. And I love this truck. But she has a check engine light and about 200 and almost 17,000 miles. So to save a little bit of money, I wanted to go on Amazon and order this OBD2 communicator, basically. So a car, auto manufacturers usually use a communication called CAN bus and it is a reliable way for the car's devices to communicate with the ECU, the engine control unit, and uh, let you know if you have problems and see all the other variables. This device will help me connect to my iPhone via Bluetooth to see those codes, uh, see hopefully lots of data from the different sensors so I can determine what's wrong. And who knows, maybe it's something I can fix myself providing it doesn't take any special tooling or it's not too hard for my old ass to get to. So pretty simple here. You just open the driver's side door, you take your device, you find your onboard diagnostics two port. You can see the pins that they're using there. Plug that device in, it lights up. We see we've got power. So these codes indicate that the fuel cap was not on securely. That's what puts the check engine light on and it won't reset unless you disconnect the battery or get a device like this to press reset. Okay, we went ahead and reset those codes. Look like some type of evaporator sensor. I'll do some more digging, but I just wanted to kind of give it a reset see if it maybe wasn't something temporary or temperature related because we have had some pretty extreme temperature changes here. We've had temperatures from 32 degrees and today it's 74 and it's December 9th. You can imagine that. But temperatures, uh, especially extreme changes in temperatures, uh, sometimes will have effects. And it could be too, just that the gas cap wasn't on tight and um, that was one of the problems. But like I said, Moving forward, I'll dig more into these codes and learn more about it. Let's crank this thing up and see if the light comes back on. Uh, looking good so far. Okay, so $32 for the uh, OBD2 reader and $10 for the one app. Uh, went ahead and downloaded another app, uh, Car Scanner. And uh, that one is free. And I would recommend just go ahead and get that one. I think you'll find all the information you need. The OBD Fusion, that one did come kind of more pre-populated with a lot of the information that you need. But the uh, Car Scanner uh, looks like it's got all the same functionality and you can set up uh, kind of what you want to show on the dashboard, different sensors, different fuel information, things like that. Either way, I think you'd be happy with either one of them. Uh, they highly recommend the OBD Fusion, but that's probably because they can sell the app for $10. And anyway, um, yeah, cool tool. Something that I think I'm gonna definitely use. Uh, reset, like I said, figured out real quick. That was just the fuel cap had probably been opened or it probably the temperature change caused a little bit of evaporation um, sensing issues in the fuel system. So uh, that was a quick, easy fix. Didn't have to replace any parts, but uh, next time I will be ready and I will get to see. Also one cool feature uh, for you guys that have cars that are fast or you want them to be fast, there is a like zero to 60 mile an hour speed test feature on that that gives you all the information that you'd want. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy.